Welcome into the bunker of General Gridiron, Field Marshal of Football Forecasted. We're about to map out the way this college football weekend is going to go. Will your favorite team be marching to victory, or will the enemy be taking your battle flag? Halloween might have been a few weeks back, but that's not going to stop this weekend from being officially dubbed 2019's Cupcake Weekend. This is that special Saturday that most Power 5 teams sit back and play the fourth string, if there's even a game at all. But thanks to the Big 12, there are at least a few contests worth prognosticating. So grab your helmet and man those battle stations. We're ready for another round of General Gridiron's football foretelling. Oklahoma State at West Virginia. This ain't no cupcake grudge match. The rejuvenated Nears are back at the rifle range following an impressive Week 12 upset of Top 25 K-State, a game played in the Little Apple. The Pokes take the long and winding country roads to the Mountain State with a very long shot at playing in the conference title game in two weeks. In this matchup of Big 12 rookie skipper Neil Brown v. season mullet man Mike Gundy, the couch burners better get ready. The Generals' victor... West Virginia Baga. Texas A&M at Georgia. This is the first matchup of the Ags and Dogs as members of the SEC. The last time A&M was between the hedges, 1954. In Ike's first term as the president, the year Elvis Presley's first record hit the chart, and more importantly, the year Marilyn Monroe and Joe DiMaggio wed. The Classic City won't be hosting a game similar to 1954's action. Even though Harrod Dogs already clinched the East, this one will be full of Jake Fromm sprinkling the air with TD passes, and that stock UGA backfield barreling down on the Texas Agrarians. The Generals' victor, Georgia. SMU at Navy. Navy Marine Corps Stadium will be at attention when this AAC West contest kicks off, both the Ponies and Middies are in the hunt for a conference title. A win Saturday coupled with a Memphis Tiger loss, and one of these two prestigious schools will be in business. Coach Sonny Dykes has his Dallas breed locked and loaded for the trip east, but the United States Naval Academy is poised to lay siege on the Equine Consortium. Middy defensive stud Kevin Brennan will be roving and rowing his way throughout. But that horde of wild horses from Big D will be too tricky to tame. The General's victor, SMU. Pittsburgh at Virginia Tech. A two-loss in the conference team will be the winning ticket for one member of the Coastal Division of the Atlantic Coast Conference. And you got three teams jockeying for that drawing. Virginia, Virginia Tech, and Pittsburgh. So this duel at Lane Stadium will give one of these teams hope moving into the final weekend. The loser? And it's crickets for conference supremacy aspirations. As the sun sets on this one, the Hokie Birds will be happy, but kind of sad too, as this is Bud Foster's final home game as VT defensive coordinator after 33 years. The Generals' victor, Virginia Tech. UCLA at USC. The victory bell's up for grabs when these surfer boys from Tinseltown hang 10 Saturday. And the men of Troy better have their big boy togs on, as this is their last game of the regular season. The numbers indicate a convincing Trojan win at the Coliseum. Even though the injury bug bit them bad as the season started, SC is in stable condition with Keaton Slovin slinging TDs. Traveler will stampede the whimpering Westwood wildlife as a way of getting back at 2018's Rose Bowl setback. The General's victor, they get that revenge, USC. Ahead on General Gridiron, the old gray lady's got one more great game left in her, Louisiana Tech at UAB. And the horseshoes got Lee Corso and company hanging around for Penn State, Ohio State. Keep it here. General Gridiron will be right back. I was living in a shelter juggling three jobs. I had to be resilient. That's something that you can't teach. Greetings, soldiers. This is General Gridiron back with you. 
Each week, this fabulous football forecast is heard on some of the finest radio stations where college football reigns supreme, including WBRT AM 1320, serving Central Kentucky for over 60 years in Lebanon Junction, Kentucky and in Paris, Texas, on KFYN FM 104.3, The River. We appreciate all of our radio affiliates. Now, let's get back into the football fight. Louisiana Tech at UAB. Legion Field in Birmingham is at its sunset of sustainability. Built back in 1927, the current tenant there, UAB, is moving out to a newer, shinier downtown facility in 2021. So, thank you, old gray lady. And if the sight of the famous 1992 SEC championship game is going to rekindle any kind of hysteria, this Saturday's Magic City meetup is probably the last title contending game left to be played on Graymont Avenue. Skip Holtz has his ankle biting canines ready to do their business on that Birmingham blaze. Will Coach Bill Clark's boys blow back with a lot of heat? The General's victor? Louisiana Tech. California at Stanford. Big game. That's what this one's called. And the farm is rolling out the redwoods for the rival from across the bay. This 122nd meeting of Cal and Stanford features two teams having rather forgettable seasons. When 2019 kicked off, the Bears were quick to the top 25 and are now 2-5 and five in league action and appear to be heading to an early Christmas. Oh, Stanford's a whopping 3-5 and five in Pac-12 play. Perhaps the play of 1982 can be mimicked and make this one somewhat newsworthy this year. The Generals' victor, Stanford. Temple at Cincinnati. Hooter T. Owls excited this road trip to five-way chili country doesn't get going until the sun sets in the west. Temple also doesn't want the setting sun to go down on their hopes of returning to the AAC throne. UC's future is simple. Win against the Lyle Mouse from Philly, and they're in the conference title game, possibly hosting it on 7 December. Michael Warren II's running and the Cats' comeback capability ought to help get the party started early in historic Nippert Stadium. The Generals' victor, Cincinnati. Texas at Baylor. Fox Sports 1's got the broadcast rights for this mid-afternoon Big 12 pillow fight. Both the Bovines and the Baptist Behemoths had disappointing, embarrassing contests last Saturday, but this conference shows no sympathy. Next man up. McLean Stadium and that Baylor line will have to hold a little tighter than that second half of Week 12's Meltdown versus OU. A lot of burnt orange will make the short trip to the Brazos' banks for an almost home game. But Matt Rule's gritters ain't going to go down for a second consecutive week. The Generals' victor, Baylor. Penn State at Ohio State. The Nittany Lions and Buckeyes have met on the gridiron since back in 1912. There were only a handful of games between them before PSU accepted a Big Ten invite in 93, and since then the Buckeyes have kind of dominated the series. It should be another victory at the Horseshoe for the home team during this high noon toe meets leather. College game day is going to be at the game, including Buckeye QB turned ESPN superstar Kirk Herbstreet. In this one, current nut signal caller Justin Fields will put on a show, and the Ohio will make a state mint. The General's victor, Ohio State. We've already looked at the weekend's biggest battles across the land, but hang on to your helmet, there's more around the corner. We'll be back in a moment to wrap up this week's General Gridiron Cupcake Weekend Edition with our rapid fire picks. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Do we have a gun? Why do you ask that, kiddo? This is General Gridiron back with you. We've already maneuvered through this weekend's frontline college football showdowns. Now, it's time to fix bayonets and storm the field with our rapid-fire football forecast. Notre Dame bamboozles Boston College. Kentucky mauls UT Martin. Wisconsin jumps over Purdue. 
Missouri escapes against Tennessee. Southern Miss tops Western Kentucky. Oklahoma puts the hurts on TCU. Louisville boxing one Syracuse. The game, Harvard outsmarts Yale. Wake Forest drops Duke. Houston claws Tulsa. Miami ain't gonna have jet lag versus Florida International. Minnesota rebounds at Northwestern. Indiana upsets Michigan. Kansas State outshoots Texas Tech. Wofford wallops the Citadel. LSU destroys Arkansas. Memphis embarrasses South Florida. And in the South's oldest rivalry, the William and Mary Tribe take the Capital Cup against the Richmond Spiders in the 130th meeting between them. Well, troops, you can now put your swords back in their scabbards. We're all out of picks on this week number 13 edition of General Gridiron. We'll be back again next week, same General Gridiron time, same General Gridiron station. So don't forget to tune us in on the radio, Facebook, YouTube TV, or simply download the Y'all Show free on iTunes podcast. And don't forget to tell your friends all about the show. Just search for General Gridiron. This is John Rawl, the General of Gridiron Glory, thanking you for letting me be part of your weekend celebration. General Gridiron is a production of Y'all. For more, log on to y'all.com, the ultimate guide to the South. That'll be all.